Hello students, today we will discuss about the dura mater of cranial cavity. Now why I use this word cranial cavity? Because when you will see the dura mater, you will find the dura mater at two places. One is around the brain and second around the spinal cord. So when you will see the dura mater around the brain, that time we will discuss about the dura of cranial cavity. So this dura mater is a strong thick fibrous dense it is a strong thick fibrous dense outer membrane within the cranial cavity and composed of two layer now see this is the first difference between the dura mater of spinal cord and dura mater of brain that when we'll talk about the dura mater outside the brain it is made up of two layer while when we'll talk about the dura mater outside the spinal cord it is having only single layer so when we'll talking about the dura inside the cranial cavity it is made up of two layer one is the inner layer and another is the outer layer now inner layer simply known as meningeal layer of dura mater or i should say the proper dura while the outer layer is nothing but it is the periosteum and it is known as endosteal layer which is closest to the bone clear now the two layers are completely fused each other except at some places and this is the question of your exam dekhi jab bhi aap is point pe dhyan denge ki jab hum cranial cavity ka dissection karke usko open karte hain to you will realize ki dura jo dono layer ki jinki humne baat ki wo aapas mein chipki hain except at some places and what these places are first where they separate to form the wall of dural sinuses now this is the first and most important thing ki jab hum dural venous sinus padhenge to dural venous sinus bante kyon hain they form because of the separation of endosteal and meningeal layer what does it means that suppose this is the endosteal layer and inner side this is the meningeal layer now because of the separation now suppose this is the separation of the meningeal layer and the endosteal layer now this space which is now present between the two layer is termed as the dural venous sinus why we are using the word dural venous sinus because these are the venous spaces present between the two layers of dura mater so this is the first and most important concept that this place is the point where the two layers separate with each other second thing where they form the dural sac for the pituitary gland and for the trigeminal ganglia that we'll discuss then where they form the tubular sheath tubular sheath for the cranial nerves emerging through the foramen at the base of skull so this is very commonly asked question in your exam that at what points the endosteal layer and meningeal layer separates from each other now the next point is that when you will see this diagram in this diagram you can clearly see that this is the space now this space is a example of a dural venous sinus now this space is created because this is your dura that is the meningeal layer and this is your endosteal layer now when you will have the separation of these two layer there is invagination of this dura and because of the invagination at the point of invagination we have this triangular gap and this gap is create ha having this blue color substance that is the venous blood and that is known as sinus clear so this is the important concept now we'll discuss the two layers one by one first is the endosteal layer now when you will see the endosteal layer it is nothing but it is actually a periosteum now what does it mean now suppose this is your bone now this is your skull bone clear now we know that skull bone is having inner and outer layer so ye aapki bahar ki layer hai this is the outer layer aur ye aapki andar ki layer hai this is the inner layer now what is this outer layer is known as when you will have the five layer of scalp now this is the innermost layer that p stand for pericranium and when you will see the inside the cranial cavity this is the layer which is again the periosteum 
That means the skull bone is having outer layer of periosteum, inner layer of periosteum. Outer layer of periosteum contribute as a fifth layer of scalp, while the inner layer of periosteum considered as a one of the component of dura mater and that's why we are using the word endosteal layer and this endosteal layer is not at all the actual dura it is actually the periosteum which lining the inner side of skull bone so it is really the periosteum which lining the inner surface of the skull bones and commonly referred as a endocranium endo means inside cranium means cranial bone ठीक है, so यहाँ पे ये concept बच्चों हमें बहुत अच्छे से समझ लेना है कि skull bone के बाहर भी एक layer है, skull bone के अंदर भी एक layer है, बाहर वाली layer scalp की पांचवीं layer बनाती है और अंदर वाली layer endosteal layer या dura mater की outer layer, outer dura या endocranium कहलाती है, clear? Now it present the following features. इस इनर पेरियोस्टियम के क्या-क्या फीचर्स होते हैं सो so, पहला फीचर ये है दैट इट कंटीन्यूस विद द पेरियोस्टियम ऑन द आउटर सरफेस ऑफ द स्कल थ्रू द सूचर्स एंड द फोरामिना ऑफ योर स्कल मतलब क्या हुआ कि अभी जो मैंने आपको बताया कि हमारे पास दो जगह पेरियोस्टियम है एक ये बाहर वाली और एक ये अंदर वाली ये बाहर और अंदर वाली जो पेरियोस्टियम है ये आपस में कंटीन्यू करती है अब ये कहां कहां कंटिन्यू करती हैं पहला पॉइंट है सूचर लाइन पे तो ये सूचर लाइन है सपोज यहां एक और आपका स्कल बोन आएगा तो ये सूचर जॉइंट बना तो इस लाइन पे इस जॉइंट पे यू हैव द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ दीस टू लेयर क्लियर ये जो फ्यूजन हुआ बच्चों यू हैव टू गो बैक इनटू द लेक्चर ऑफ द स्कैल्प जहां पे हमने देखा सिफेल हिमेटोमा सिफेल हिमेटोमा इस पेरियोस्टियम के नीचे यहां इस गैप में होता है और वो इस स्कल बोन का शेप ऑक्यूपाई करता है सो वी नो दैट द सिपल सिफेल हिमेटोमा ऑक्यूपाई द शेप ऑफ द बोन बिकॉज़ द पेरियोस्टियम व्हिच लाइज आउटसाइड इज लिमिटेड बाय द सूचर लाइंस वेयर यू हैव द डीप अटैचमेंट टू दिस इनर लाइनिंग ऑफ योर पेरियोस्टियम so this is the one and most important thing apart from that suppose there is a foramen present in this bone now this foramen which is allowing any structure to go inside the cranial cavity or come out the cranial cavity through this foramen this periosteum will go and continue with the endosteal layer clear so this is very commonly asked concept in your multiple choice question that which of the following is true or false about the endosteal dura? So endosteal dura is nothing but it is a periosteum which lies on the inner side of the cranial cavity and this endosteal layer continue with the outer pericranium at two places. One is at the suture line, second through the foramens of skull bone. Now the second feature is that it also continue with the periosteal lining that is your periorbita of the orbit through superior orbital fissure. That means this periosteum is also continue inside the orbit. When you will see the orbit, orbit is connected with the cranial cavity through the superior orbital fissure which is opening in the middle cranial fossa anteriorly. So where also you have the continuation of this layer into the eyeball, into the bony orbit. Now it provides sheath for the cranial now. Now this is something is important. You have this question so many times that when we're talking about the sheath around the cranial nerves now this sheath is something else other than the covering of nerve jab aap nerve ki covering padhte hain to aap padhte hain endoneurium perineurium epineurium now this is something else other than epineurium it is a outer sheath of your cranial nerves which are passing or piercing the skull bone and when they are piercing the skull bone to come out this endosteal layer will prolonged and it form a tubular sheath so it provides the sheath which fuse with the epineurium so it is other than epineurium what i mean to say is that this is your epineurium now outside the epineurium you will have additional sheath and this additional sheath is produced by or provided by the endosteal layer and it later on merge with this epineurium the dural sheath around the optic nerve fuse with the sclera of eyeball so this endosteal layer suppose this is your eyeball and posteriorly you have the optic nerve now as you know that 
this is the your endosteal layer now this endosteal layer will reach and at the posterior part of the eyeball it will merge with the sclera clear so you have to understand this concept that whenever we are talking about the tubular sheath or the endosteal layer it is present outside your nerve that is other than the epineurium and it merges with the epineurium and in case of the orbit it will enters into the orbit and merge with the posterior part of the sclera of eyeball clear it is loosely attached to the inner surface of the vault of the skull now this concept is again different from the uh, endosteal layer at other places that when you will see the endosteal layer we have the endosteal layer at two place where one is at the base of the skull another is at the remaining part of the skull because cranial cavity is a closed cavity so you have the base of the cranial cavity and you have the roof and floor of the uh, cranial cavity so when we we'll talk about the roof and floor there is a some difference between the attachment of endosteal layer or i should say the periosteum so it is loosely attached to the inner surface of the vault of the skull vault means this top area so in this top part when you will see it is loosely attached and it is having the vascular process however it is firmly attached to the base so where is the base bachcho this is the base yahan pe aapko ye baat yaad rakhni hai ki jab hum yahan ki periosteum pad rahe hain aur jab hum yahan ki periosteum pad rahe hain dono mein difference kya hai dono mein ye difference hai ki jo aapka vault hai vault ke paas jo periosteum hai wo loosely attached hai yani aap isko bahut easily hata sakte ho strip out kar sakte ho lekin jo base ki periosteum hai ye yahan pe बहुत टाइटली अटैच होती है यू कैन नॉट स्ट्रिप इट आउट आप इसको फ्लोर से हटा नहीं सकते इसको छोड़ा नहीं सकते सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट विच यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड एंड इट अटैच टू द बेस ऑफ स्कल अलोंग द सूचर एंड अराउंड द मार्जिन ऑफ फोर मैगनम एज ए रिजल्ट इट इज इजिली स्ट्रिप्ड ऑफ फ्रॉम द वॉल्ट ऑफ द स्कल बट नॉट फ्रॉम द बेस ऑफ स्कल क्लियर सो यहां पर दिस इज द क्वेश्चन is it a true line or the false the confusion is that student always keep this thing in mind that if it is a inner line of the skull then it should have the same nature but it is not having the similar nature because when you are talking about the covering on inner side in upper part it is loosely attached when you are talking about the covering in the lower part it is firmly attached so this make the difference and that's why this line is here and you have to keep this thing in mind meningeal vessel passes through this layer to supply the bone we are talking about this area so in this area you have the meningeal vessels now what about the meningeal layer of dura mater now this meningeal layer or inner layer is really the dura mater proper initially i told you that when we are talking about the dura around the brain we will talk about the two layer so yahan pe jo meningeal layer hai ye wahi meningeal layer hai jo aap spinal cord ke bahar padhte ho yani ye aapka kya hai bachcho brain now this is the brain here you will have the brain stem and it will continue down as a spinal cord this is the cerebellum now when we will talk about the meningeal layer of the dura mater this meningeal layer of dura mater is present here now this meningeal layer of dura continue downward into the your spinal uh, vertebral column so this is actually the continuation while when we will talk about the your endosteal layer this endosteal layer is present here now this endosteal layer merge with the margins of your foramen magnum it will merge with the margins of foramen magnum this endosteal layer will not continue in this area so yahan pe ye difference aapko yaad rakhna hai ki hum meningeal layer of brain ki jab hum baat karte hain ye wahi meningeal dura hai that will continue into the vertebral column around the spinal cord so it is a proper dura mater it encloses the brain and at the foramen magnum become continue with the dura mater surrounding the spinal cord 
it is labeled as a spinal dura. So this is the question for your exam. The next point is that it is separated from the arachnoid matter. But obviously it is separated from the arachnoid matter. You know that when we are talking about the layers, you have the dura, arachnoid and pia. So there is a gap between the dura and arachnoid matter that is known as subdural space. So it is remain separated by the subdural space at the places meningeal layer is folded on itself to form the dural fold. देखिए बच्चों ये जो सवाल है ये सवाल सबसे ज्यादा पूछा जाता है यहां पे क्वेश्चन क्या है क्वेश्चन ये है कि जब आप ब्रेन का डिसेक्शन करते हैं व्हेन यू विल डिसेक्ट द ब्रेन यू आर एबल टू सी नंबर ऑफ फोल्ड्स इनसाइड द क्रेनियल कैविटी नाउ दोज फोल्ड्स आर समथिंग लाइक दिस नाउ दिस इज द फोल्ड ऑफ योर ड्यूरामेटर नाउ दिस फोल्ड इज फॉर्म बाय Endosteal layer, this form, this is formed by meningeal layer or arachnoid matter or pia matter. Answer is the folds are always comes from the meningeal layer of dura matter. Now this meningeal layer of dura matter is going to form the septas and the dural fold projects into the cranial cavity and divides this cavity into the compartment. And these compartment contains different part of the brain. So this is the short note for your exam. Sometimes you have the clinical based long question also. So there are basically you have the four septas which are formed by inward duplication of meningeal dura matter. So this is the first question. These are the duplication of which layer? Answer is meningeal layer of dura matter. These divide the cranial cavity into the spaces that accommodate different part of the brain and what are the name of these septas. So we will discuss the four different septas. One is known as Fox cerebri, Tentorium cerebelli, Fox cerebri, cerebelli and diaphragma cella. So this is cerebri, that means between the cerebral cortex hemisphere. This is cerebelli, that means it is between the two part of cerebellum. Now we'll discuss one by one. The first is the Fox cerebri. Now this cerebri, as the name suggests, it is something which is related with the cerebral cortex. Now it is a sickle shape. It is a sickle shape. Now what is the sickle? Sickle is a thing which is something like this. Now this is a sickle shape structure. And when you will see this sickle shape structure, it is having the two end. So it occupy first the position. This is a vertical fold which projects inferiorly occupying the medial longitudinal fissure between the two cerebral hemisphere. Now we all know that there are two cerebral hemisphere. One is the right cerebral hemisphere, another is the left cerebral hemisphere and in between them you have the depression and that depression is known as median fissure because it is in midline. And below the median fissure, you have the corpus callosum which connects the two cerebral hemisphere. So this fold of the dura matter will go and then it will duplicate and comes out. So it is present in the midline. Second thing is that this is a sickle shaped fold. Third thing is that it is having a narrow anterior end. Anterior end is narrow and you have the posterior broad end. And this posterior end is broad. This anterior narrow end attached to the crista galli of ethmoid bone. So first I will uh, just tell you where is the crista galli is present. Now when you will see this diagram, now this is the diagram where you are able to appreciate this is the fold of dura matter. Now this fold of dura matter is present in the midline and when you will see this part, now this is your floor of anterior cranial fossa. Where it is? It is above your nose. This is the roof of the nose. Now in this area, you are able to appreciate a midline projection and this midline projection which is present on both the side of the cribriform plate. If you see the floor of your uh, cranial cavity, in the anterior cranial fossa, you have to appreciate this projection. On both the side of this projection, you will find the multiple small foramens which are known as olfactory foramens. And that is the cribriform plate. Now this is actually the crista galli. Now this projection is known as crista galli and you have the anterior attachment of this fold. Now this fold is going back and posteriorly it is having the broad part and below this broad part you have one more horizontally placed fold 
Now this horizontally placed fold is known as tentorium cerebelli. Now in this diagram you can see that this is the fold which is the sickle shaped fold and this is the broad posterior end and this is the horizontal fold which is present on both the side. So what is happening here? That one fold which is vertically coming from the side is a horizontal fold that is coming from the side. So this fold which is coming from the side of the side we have horizontally placed this horizontally placed fold is tentorium cerebelli and the vertical fold that is coming from the side of the side is known as fox cerebrae. ठीक है, so fox cerebrae पे कौन सा part का posterior part कहाँ जाता है? Tentorium cerebelli में. So when you will see the narrow anterior end, it attaches to the crista gallae and crista gallae is a bony feature of ethmoid bone which is present in the midline of your anterior cranial fossa. Now when you will see the posterior part, it is broader. As compared to the anterior end, and it attached in the midline on the upper surface of another fold that is tentorium cerebelli. So when you will see this posterior end below the posterior, what you will find tentorium cerebelli. So one end to bone pe attached hai, or dusra end dusre dural fold ke saath attached hai. Now when you will see the margins, you can see that there are two margins. One is the lower margin, one is the upper margin. Upper margin is convex, lower margin is concave. You can see the concavity here in the lower part. The convex margin of the fox attached longitudinally on both sides of lips of sagittal sulcus to enclose the superior sagittal sinus. ये क्या चीज होता है ना वेर यू विल फाइंड दिस कंपोनेंट ना व्हेन यू विल सी द इनर साइड ऑफ द कट पार्ट ऑफ द कैप ऑफ स्कल अगर आप इस कैप को काट के व्हेन यू विल सी फ्रॉम द इनर साइड आपको यहाँ पे ये वर्टिकल डिप्रेशन दिख रहा है ना दिस वर्टिकल डिप्रेशन इज़ नथिंग बट दिस वर्टिकल डिप्रेशन इ Groove for superior sagittal sinus. Now you have to understand one thing here that this groove for sagittal sinus is having two lips. And if I will take the section, if I will take the section of this bone, now this is the two lips. Now these lips will give attachment to the meninges, that is the dura mater. And this is the floor of your this part that is the groove for superior sagittal sinus. Clear? So it is written here that the superior border attached on the inner side of the skull bone in the midline or in the sagittal plane where you have the groove for superior sagittal sinus which is having the two lips. While the lower border, the lower is concave margin which is free. It is not having any attachment and it lies just above the corpus callosum. I told you that both the cerebral hemisphere connected with the corpus callosum. So that will go down but the lower part is free and it remains con in contact with this corpus callosum. The inferior margin contains the inferior sagittal sinus. Now in this diagram you can appreciate the sinuses also. Now when you will see these two margins, now this is the upper margin and this is the lower margin. Along these margin you can appreciate the blue lines. Now where is the blue lines? Now this is the one blue line, this is the another blue line and these blue line nothing else other than the sinus. Now these sinus are fo formed because of the duplication, I told you. So if you will take the section and see how it looks like, it looks like the duplication, this is the dura, it is going downward, it is then reduplicate, the duplication is taking place and then it is going back. Now you can see that this is the gap and this is the one more gap. Now this gap is along the lower border which is here. This is the gap along the upper border which is here. Now this gap is known as inferior sagittal sinus. This gap is known as superior sagittal sinus. Clear? Now what are the overall venous sinuses are present in the Fox cerebrae? One is I told you the superior sagittal sinus along the upper convex border. Inferior sagittal sinus along the lower concave margin and straight sinus. Now where you will find the straight sinus? A straight sinus is present along the line of attachment between the posterior margin of the fox cerebrae and tentorium cerebelli. In this diagram you can see that this is the straight sinus.
and this straight sinus is present between the posterior attachment of this fold that is the fac cerebri and this horizontal fold that is stentorium cerebelli. ठीक है बच्चों, so यहाँ पे आपने इस पूरे fac cerebri के अंदर क्या सीखा कि fac cerebri के दो end होते हैं, anterior end होता है, posterior end होता है, दो borders होती हैं, superior border होती है, inferior border होती है, anterior end का bony attachment होता है, posterior end का attachment किसके ऊपर होता है? Tentorium cerebelli के ऊपर होता है। हमने देखा कि upper border पे एक और sinus है, that is superior cerebral sinus, lower border पे एक sinus होता है जिसका नाम है inferior cerebral sinus, और जहाँ पे ये जो आपका posteriorly attached हो रहा है, इस posterior attachment पे एक और sinus है, that is the straight sinus। साथ में you know that कि इस fold का placement क्या है? ये fold दो cerebral hemisphere के बीच में है, यानी इस fold के दोनों side क्या आएगा? राइट right साइड में राइट सेरेब्रल हेमिस्फीयर लेफ्ट साइड में लेफ्ट सेरेब्रल हेमिस्फीयर आता है सो दिस इज व्हाट अबाउट द फॉक्स सेरेब्रल द नेक्स्ट इज द टेंटोरियम सेरेब्रलाय नाउ टेंटोरियम सेरेब्रलाय इज अ क्रिसेंट शेप्ड शीट ऑफ ड्यूरा मैटर क्रिसेंट शेप्ड शीट का मतलब कि ये कुछ इस तरीके का स्ट्रक्चर है जिसको हमने नाम दिया टेंट शेप टेंटोरियम सेरेब्रलाय it formed the roof of the posterior cranial fossa. Posterior cranial fossa को जब आप देखोगे, तो posterior cranial fossa के अंदर आपको पता है कि क्या होता है बच्चों? Occipital lobe. Occipital lobe के नीचे होता है cerebellum. तो cerebellum and cerebrum का जो occipital lobe है, दोनों के बीच में, when you will do the dissection, you will find that there is a horizontal space, and that space is occupied by this tent-shaped structure, and it divides the posterior cranial fossa in the two part. Supratentorial compartment, infratentorial compartment. Supratentorial compartment of posterior cranial fossa में क्या आएगा? Occipital lobe. Infratentorial compartment में क्या आएगा? Cerebellum. Clear? So, it forms the roof of the posterior cranial fossa, covers the cerebellum. And it transversely and underlies the occipital bone of, lobe of cerebral cortex. मतलब ये हुआ कि ये किसके नीचे है? It underlies which structure? It underlies below the occipital lobe. So this is your brain. This is your brain. This is your occipital lobe. So it lies below the occipital lobe, but it forms the roof of cerebellum. So here is your brain stem. Here is the cerebellum. Now there is a gap. Now this horizontal gap that is present between the occipital lobe and cerebellum is the area where you have this horizontally placed tentorium cerebelli and this tentorium cerebelli divides this area into the two part one is above this is known as supratentorial one is below that is known as infratentorial compartments it has two margins or borders and two surfaces now you have this question in your exam about the morphology of tentorium cerebelli so when you are seeing this you will find the anterior border you will find the posterior border, anterior border encircles the midbrain because if you will see here, anteriorly you have this is the midbrain, that is the brain stem. Then it edges attached to the anterior clenoid process of sphenoid bone. Now first we will see what do you mean by anterior clenoid process. Now anterior clenoid process is a bony feature. Now see what you are able to understand in this diagram that here you are seeing the floor of the floor. Cranial cavity का पूरा floor देख रहे हैं। This portion is your anterior cranial fossa, this is your posterior cranial fossa, and this middle one is middle cranial fossa. Now ये जो anterior cranial fossa है, इसका detail diagram आप यहाँ देख रहे हैं। In this, in midline, you can see that this is the part of ethmoid bone, where in the center you have the crista galli that will give attachment to the anterior part of the fac cerebri. Now posteriorly you have this sphenoid bone that is making a joint. With the posterior part of the orbital plate of the frontal bone, और ये जो projections आप देखते हैं, ये projection कहलाते हैं बच्चों anterior clenoid process. So anterior clenoid process अगर मुझे इस पूरे complete skull में देखना है, तो मुझे कहाँ मिलेगा? So anterior clenoid process is this, these tips which are protruding are known as anterior clenoid process. तो इस anterior clenoid process पे एक U shape structure attached है. 
ये जो यू शेप स्ट्रक्चर है बच्चों दिस यू शेप स्ट्रक्चर इज योर टेंटोरियम सेरिबिलाई फ्री मार्जिन बिकॉज यहां पे ये किसी भी चीज से अटैच नहीं है सिर्फ यहां पे दो एक दो पॉइंट्स हैं जिन पे ये आपने लटकाया हुआ है इस लूप को तो एक लूप है उस लूप को अगर मैं हाथ में पकड़ लूंगा तो वो लूप पूरा फ्री है एक्सेप्ट दीज टू पॉइंट एंड दीज टू पॉइंट आर एंटीरियर क्लिनोइड प्रोसेस एंड रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ द लूप इज नोन इज फ्री मार्जिन और एंटीरियर बॉर्डर ऑफ टेंटोरियम सेरिबेला सो एंटीरियर बॉर्डर एंड सर्कल्स द मिड ब्रेन मिड ब्रेन एंड इट अटैच टू द एंटीरियर क्लिनोइड प्रोसेस नाउ वेयर इज द पोस्टीरियर बॉर्डर पोस्टीरियर बॉर्डर इज ब्रॉडर एंड इट अटैच अराउंड द इनर सरफेस ऑफ टेम्पोरल एंड ऑक्सीपिटल बोन ठीक है अब ये कहा मिलेगा नाउ वेन यू विल सी दिस पोस्टीरियर क्रेनियल फोसा नाउ इन दिस पोस्टीरियर क्रेनियल फोसा दिस इज योअर इंटरनल ऑक्सीपिटल प्रोट्यूब्रेंस नाउ वी नो दैट कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू दिस पॉइंट Outside you have external occipital protuberance and inside we have internal occipital protuberance. हम बात कर रहे हैं पोस्टीय क्रेनियल फोसा में इस इंटरनल ऑक्सीपिटल प्रोट्यूबरेंस से अगर आप दोनों साइड में जाओगे तो आपको हॉरिजेंटल ग्रूव मिलते हैं बच्चों एंड दीज ग्रूव आर फॉर ट्रांसफर सल्कस दीज ग्रूव आर फॉर ट्रांसफर सल्कस एंड ये कंटिन्यू करते हैं किस पे एडजस्टेंट बोन्स पे दे विल कंटिन्यू ऑन द एडजस्टेंट पार्ट दैट इज द टेम्पोरल बोन सो जो आपका पोस्टीरियर अटैच मार्जिन है वो यहां पे अटैच हो जाएगा क्लियर और एंटीरियर अटैच मार्जिन यहां पे अटैच हो जाएगा सो इन दिस वे यू हैव द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द टेंटोरियम सेरिबेलाय क्लियर सो जब आप टेंटोरियम सेरिबेलाय का कंस्ट्रक्शन पढ़ रहे हैं फॉर्मेशन पढ़ रहे हैं तो हमने क्या देखा कि इसका एक फ्री मार्जिन है ये जो सिर्फ एंटीरियर क्लिनोइड प्रोसेस पे अटैच है और एक अटैच मार्जिन है वो ये सो पोस्टीरियर बॉर्डर इज नोन एज अटैच मार्जिन एंटीरियर बॉर्डर इज नोन एज फ्री मार्जिन नाउ द इनर फ्री मार्जिन इज हैविंग ए यू शेप नॉच इज नोन एज टेंटोरियल नॉच फॉर द पैसेज ऑफ मिड ब्रेन ये सवाल बहुत बार एग्जाम में पूछा हुआ है कि टेंटोरियल नॉच ऑक्यूपाइड बाय विच पार्ट ऑफ द ब्रेन आंसर इज मिड ब्रेन it is not occupied by the pons not occupied by the medulla it is occupied by the mid brain so this is your anterior clinoid process clear and from the anterior clinoid process you have the free margin that will arrange in this in this fashion and this is known as tentorial notch and in this notch which portion of the brain stem comes mid brain the anterior end of the uh, concave free margin are attached to the anterior clinoid process the outer attached margin is convex and attached to the each side before backward posterior clinoid process posterior inferior angle of parietal bones and the lips of transverse sulci of the occipital bone so bachcho where is the posterior clinoid process so these are the posterior clinoid process these are the posterior clinoid process now when you will see the attachment of the attached margin you will find that it will start from the posterior clinoid process then it will go along the petrous part of the temporal bones which is here this is the petrous part of the temporal bones then it will reach to the posterior inferior angle of the parietal bone and then inner side of the transverse sulcus of occipital bone so in this way you have the attached margin of टेंटोरियम सेरिबेलाय ठीक है तो टेंटोरियम सेरिबेलाय इज हैविंग द टू मार्जिन अटैच मार्जिन एंड फ्री मार्जिन फ्री मार्जिन मींस द लूप अटैच मार्जिन मींस दिस ब्रॉड एरिया व्हिच इज अटैच स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द पोस्टीरियर क्लिनोइड प्रोसेस टू द पेट्रस पार्ट एंड इनर साइड ऑफ योर ऑक्सीपिटल बोन द फ्री एंड अटैच मार्जिन क्रॉस ईच अदर अदर नियर द अपैक्स ऑफ द पेट्रस पार्ट ये जो लाइन है ये जो पैराग्राफ है ये एक सवाल है क्यों सवाल है बिकॉज जहां पे क्रॉसिंग हो रही है उस क्रॉसिंग के जंक्शन पे एक क्रेनियल नाव इसको पंक्चर करती है एंड दैट पंक्चर क्रेनियल नाव इज नोन एज ट्रॉकलियर सो ये कैसे होगा देखो ये क्या बनाया हमने अटैच मार्जिन हम फ्री मार्जिन कहां बनाएंगे बच्चों फ्री मार्जिन हम यहां बनाएंगे नाउ दिस इज द फ्री मार्जिन सो फ्री मार्जिन इज फ्रॉम एंटीरियर क्लिनोइड प्रोसेस so now where is the crossing now see this is the point of crossing now this is the point of crossing now at this point of crossing we have a cranial nerve and that cranial nerve 
is present here and this cranial nerve is none other than fourth cranial nerve or your trochlear nerve. And in anterior part of this triangular area, in anterior part of this triangular area, here you have one more nerve that is the third cranial nerve. So in this part of the crossing, at the tip of the crossing, you have the fourth cranial nerve and in anterior part of this cross triangle, you have the third or oculomotor nerve. So this is the important question for your exam. Now, in this diagram also, you can appreciate both the nerves. Now, this is your, uh, this is the one nerve which you can see, this is the another nerve. Now, this is the trochlear, this is the fourth cranial nerve and if you will see, this is the anterior clinoid process and this is the free margin which is going like this. On this side, we have cut the margin. This is the attached margin. You can see this is the attached margin. So where is the junction of the cut and attached margin? So this is the junction of the crossing of two uh, at margins. Now, where is the now? Now, this is the now. Clear? So this question in your exam mein, diagram based question hai ki diagram mein you have this question identify this structure identify this structure now how to identify this structure you have to identify crossing crossing of what your attached and free margin and this crossing is here this is the attached margin which is going downward and this is the your attached margin this is the free margin and near the crossing, you have this now, which is your fourth cranial now. Now, surface of tentorium cerebelli. Now, because it is a horizontal fold, so it is having superior surface and inferior surface. The superior surface or upper surface is related with the fox cerebri, which is coming in the midline from above. And on the side, you have the occipital lobe. While in the lower part, you have the cerebellum. And in between the cerebellum, you have a small fold in the infratentorial compartment that is known as fox cerebelli. So above, you have the fox cerebri. And lower, you have the fox cerebelli. Clear? Now, you have one more important term related to the tentorium cerebelli that is known as trigeminal cave or Meckel's cave. Now, in this case, there are 4-5 points that I will tell you about what trigeminal cave is. Trigeminal cave is a diverticulum. What is this? What is this? Diverticulum and a recess are also called. And this diverticulum or recess is what is it? It is formed by the dura matter present in relation to the attachment of tentorium cerebelli. So, pehla sawal, the first question, trigeminal cave is formed by which of the dural fold? Answer is tentorium cerebelli. Second is, is it a diverticulum? That means, is it a evagination or invagination? So, it is a evagination. It is a diverticulum. Third thing is that this Meckel's diverticulum present in which part of the cranial cavity? Answer is middle cranial fossa. It is present in the middle cranial fossa. So, Meckel's diverticulum formed by evagination of the meningeal layer of the dura mater. It lies below, below the superior petrosal sinus. But this is also a very important question. That this superior petrosal sinus is below and this is the border hai, attached of free margin. वहाँ पे जो पेट्रस पार्ट ऑफ टेम्पोरल बोन अभी मैंने आपको दिखाया था उसके अपेक्स के पास बनता है, so it is near the apex of the pectus part of the temporal bone in the middle cranial fossa and it contains the trigeminal ganglia, ठीक है? So when you will see the attached margin, now this is the attached margin. Now you have to understand one more thing, important thing is that near this attached margin you have the sinus. यहाँ पे बच्चों जो sinus है, उस sinus का नाम क्या होगा? Superior petrosal sinus. Attached margin के along कौन सा sinus होता है? Superior petrosal sinus. इस superior petrosal sinus के नीचे, इस superior petrosal sinus के नीचे क्या बना? एक diverticulum. और वो diverticulum क्या कहलाया? Meckel's cave. और ये जो apex of temporal bone है, petrous part of temporal bone है, उसमें यहाँ पे एक bony depression होता है. वो बोनी डिप्रेशन एक्चुअली क्या है मैकल्स केव है और वो किससे कवर है टेंटोरियम सेरिवेलाई के एक मॉडिफिकेशन से दैट इज योर डायवर्टिकुलम ठीक है सो इन दिस डायग्राम आप ये देखिए कि हमने क्या किया कि ये जो मार्जिन है ये कट कर दिए किसका मार्जिन है ये ड्यूरा मैटर का मार्जिन है जिसको हमने कट कर दिया और यहां पे ये आपका क्या है 
आपका ये अटैच मार्जिन ऑफ योवर टेंटोरियम सेरिबल है उसके नीचे उसके नीचे आप ये डायलिटेशन देखते हैं ये डायलिटेशन क्या है ट्राइजेमिनल गैंगलिया सो so, यहां पे जो दो तीन क्वेश्चन है वो फिर मैं बताता हूं आपको कि मैकल्स केव क्या है वट इज द मैकल्स केव इट इज अ डिप्रेशन नियर द अपैक्स ऑफ द पेट्रस पार्ट ऑफ टेम्पोरल बोन वेयर इट लाइज इट लाइज बिलो द सुपीरियर पेट्रोजल साइनस इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ मिडिल क्रेनियल फोसा क्लियर नाउ विच आर दीनस साइनस इज आर प्रेजेंट इन द टेंटोरियम सेरिबिलाई फर्स्ट इज द ट्रांसफर साइनस सेकेंड इज द सुपीरियर पेट्रोजल साइनस थर्ड इज द स्ट्रेट साइनस स्ट्रेट साइनस वी हैव डिस्कस दिस स्ट्रेट साइनस इट इज ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन द पोस्टीरियर फ्री पोस्टीरियर अटैच एंड ऑफ द फॉक्स सेरिब ब्राय विद द सुपीरियर सर्फेस ऑफ टेंटोरियम सेरिबिलाई एंड आई जस्ट टोल्ड यू अलॉन्ग द अटैचमेंट ऑफ योअर टेंटोरियम सेरिबिलाई एंड ऑन द पोस्टीरियर पार्ट ऑन द इनर साइड ऑफ योअर टेम्पोरल ऑक्सीपिटल बोन वेयर यू हैव द ट्रांसफर सल्कस सो इन दिस डायग्राम वी कैन अप्रिशिएट ऑल दीज साइनस ये क्या है बच्चों हॉरिजेंटल फोल्ड ये हॉरिजेंटल फोल्ड जो आपको इस साइड से दिख रहा है दिस इज टेंटोरियम सेरिबिलाई ये क्या है दिस इज द मिड लाइन फोल्ड दैट इज योअर फॉक्स सेरिब्राय फॉक्स सेरिब्राय पे अपर मार्जिन पे ये ब्लू लाइन क्या है बच्चों सुपीरियर सजाइटल साइनस ये ब्लू लाइन क्या है इंफीरियर सजाइटल साइनस इसका जो जंक्शन है इस जंक्शन पे आप ये एक और ब्लू लाइन देख रहे हैं दिस इज द स्ट्रेट साइनस देन यू हैव दिस टेंटोरियम सेरिबिलाई दिस इज द अटैच मार्जिन ऑफ टेंटोरियम सेरिबिलाई वेयर यू आर एबल टू सी दिस दीज ब्लू लाइन ऑन बोथ द साइड दीज आर द सुपीरियर पेट्रोजल साइनस एंड दिस इज द पोस्टीरियर अटैच पार्ट ऑन दिस साइड यू हैव the sinus is known as transverse sinus transverse means horizontally placed transversely placed sinus so this is this is another diagram where you can see that these are the transverse sinus yahan pe agar aap dry skull ko dekhte hain to aapko groove milte hain these are known as groove for transverse sinus here you are able to see the blue lines which are representing the transverse sinus those are present on the inner side of occipital bone clear now the fox cerebellae I told you cerebellar is present between the cerebellar hemisphere. It is a very small fold which is present in the infratentorial compartment that is below the tentorium cerebelli, and it is a small vertical reflection of the dura mater located in the midline below the tentorium cerebelli between the two cerebellar hemisphere, and it attaches superiorly to the tentorium cerebelli, inferiorly to the internal occipital crest. Okay, and. Along with the margins of foramen magnum, ठीक है Now we have the diaphragma cella. यहां पर कुछ concept है जो आपको समझना है Diaphragma cella किसका नाम है Diaphragma cella कोई bone नहीं है बच्चों Diaphragma cella is a name given for the dural fold. Now this diaphragma cella is a circular. Horizontal fold of the dura mater that form the roof of pituitary fossa or hypophyseal fossa. इस डायग्राम को आप पहले देखें इस डायग्राम में हम क्या देख रहे हैं कि ये आपका क्या है मिडिल क्रेनियल फोसा है इस मिडिल क्रेनियल फोसा में दो तीन लाइन हैं जो आपको याद रखनी है दिस दिस एरिया नाउ व्हाट इज दिस एरिया नाउ दिस एरिया इज नोन एज ट्यूबर क्यूलम सेला दिस एरिया इज नोन एज ट्यूबर सेला ठीक है हमने फोल्ड का नाम क्या रखा है डायफ्रैगमा सेला एंड वॉट इज दिस एरिया इज नोन एज This area is known as tuberculum cella. Now, behind the tuberculum cella, you have the big depression. Now, if you will take the section and if you will see the uh, sagittal section, this is the depression. Now, what this depression is known as? This depression is known as cella tarsica or hypophyseal fossa or fossa for pituitary gland. इस fossa for pituitary gland के आगे जो bony plate है इस फोसा के आगे जो बोनी प्लेट है बच्चों उस बोनी प्लेट का नाम मैंने क्या बताया आपको डायफ्रेगमा सॉरी ट्यूबर कुलम सेला सो ये जो बोनी प्लेट है दिस बोनी प्लेट इज हेयर एंड दिस बोनी प्लेट इज नोन एज ट्यूबर कुलम सेला क्लियर सो ट्यूबर कुलम सेला और डायफ्रेगमा सेला में क्या डिफरेंस है डायफ्रेगमा सेला तो क्या है बच्चों फोल्ड ऑफ योर ड्यूरा मैटर तो वो फोल्ड यहां आएगा वो जो फोल्ड बनेगा उस फोल्ड को हम नाम देंगे डायफ्रेगमा सेला बट ये जो बोनी प्लेट है इस बोनी प्लेट को नाम आपने क्या दिया इस बोनी प्लेट को इस बोनी पॉइंट को इस एरिया को दैट इज योवर ट्यूबरक्यूलम सेला सो 
when you are reading the diaphragma cella, it is a horizontal fold which attaches anteriorly to the tuberculum cella and posteriorly to the dorsum cella. Now, what is dorsum cella? Kya hota hai? Dorsum cella is this part. Now, this bony plate, hai, this body plate is known as dorsum cella and this bony plate is known as tuberculum cella. So, dear students, there should be no confusion. There are three words diaphragma cella, then you have tuberculum cella and dorsum cella. So diaphragma cella kya hai? What is diaphragma cella? It is the name of fold. What is tuberculum cella and dorsum cella? These are the bony plates. Now one plate is anterior to the pituitary fossa, one plate is posterior to the pituitary fossa. And it continues on the side with the fossa, middle cranial fossa. The dura has also lines the cella tarsica and completely make a sac and that sac is for the pituitary gland aur wo jo aapke upar jo plate bani jisko humne naam diya diaphragma cella usme chhota sa ek ched hota hai ek aperture hota hai for the stock of pituitary gland so yahan pe in this diagram there should be no confusion about the tuberculum cella and dorsal cella so tuberculum cella kahan hai bachcho where you have the tuberculum cella this part is tuberculum cella where you have the dorsal cella this part is dorsum cella. Where is the diaphragma cella? Diaphragma cella is a fold. So this is diaphragma cella. What is the cella tarsica? Now this part is known as cella tarsica. Clear? Cella tarsica me kya hota hai bachcho? Cella tarsica contains the fossa for pituitary gland. Now in this diagram you can see that this is your diaphragma cella. This is your fold of the dura mater. Beach mein yahaan ek chota sa gap hai. This gap is for the stock of pituitary gland. So, at the end of this class, what we are able to understand ki what are the dural folds? Dural folds kaun kaun se hote hain? Unki sabse important cheez hai attachment. The most commonly question is about the attachment and if you have the clear idea about the attachment, you should have the idea about the sinuses which are present in these dural folds. So, this is all about today's class. Thank you.